Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. So, um, yeah, it's been a while. Sorry about that, been busy with other projects. But, uh, yeah, bought something new for that. Let's, uh, let's open it up and have a look what it is. Harrison Telescopes, where I bought this thing from. If you're not familiar with that place, I'll leave a link in the uh, video description to show you. So, there you go, EQ2, EQ2, DC drive. To help with the tracking. Hopefully I can get that camera into use. Right, let's open this box. Instructions. It's in English for a change, that's good. It tells you how to use it, where to put it. Alright. Alright, so Allen keys, two of them. Good, we need them. And that's it. Simple type EQ2. Precision DC motor drive made in China. So you got on and off switch. South and north. I think that's the power light, and I think that adjusts the speed. You can see it, that little knob there. Yep, yeah, it turns. It's not just how fast it it moves the the right ascension motor. So from what I understand without looking it up again, that part mounts onto the body of the uh RA and then that goes on to where the uh things are. <laughs> what they called. <laughs> Been that bleeding long since I used the telescope. There. Take that off, put the motor on. So it bolts onto here. Bolts onto the the part that turns on the motor, clamps onto this when you take that off. Onto there. So the motor turns that round. Right, I'll have a look at setting it up. Right, so these two screws here, undo them, it takes the cover off. Try and do this one-handed so I can show you properly. That's the little screws, make sure you don't lose them. What you will need though is a battery, 9 volt, get a decent one so you know it's going to last. That comes off, so in there is where the battery sits, that's the connector. So that's where the battery sits, that's the connector for it. Yep, go 
working. So that would sit in there. Just like that. And get them back two screws again. One, just put them hand tight, not over tighten them. One, that's a south and north. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you put it on S. Well, I'm in England, north of England, Greater Manchester, northern hemisphere should be on the end, I think. Right, I'll put it on the scope and tell you, show you how to do that. Right, so, using the Allen key provided with mine, you want to take that screw off there, if you can see that. Let's get a bit closer, if we can. That screw wants to come off. That's where the motor is bolted to and that's where the motor that turns sits and clamps on with a little screw. So if we can do that for you. So obviously you don't want to lose these things. So yeah, it goes on upside down. Just nip that up, don't over tighten it when you don't want to cross thread it out daft. So it's down there, that's onto that bolt there. And then there sits on. Oh, there sits on that, which is where the control arm would be. So you turn that to control the right ascension. Well, now that's going to do it instead. So if I turn it on, So that, that controls the speed at which it moves. And you can't tell, but it is moving very, very slowly. The only thing with it is, is the noise from the motor. Right. Turn it off for now. What I'll do is I'll set the camera up and I'll um, I'll try and do a time lapse thing. Right, so the best way for me to show you this motor working is to look through the telescope at those trees over there. Put my phone on the adapter, obviously tying it up. That's a 15 millimeter eyepiece. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'll do that now. I'll show you.
Right, so that's it. That's the uh, the motor working, fitted on there, and all in action. Uh, I think it's pretty good. It cost me just under forty pound, thirty summer. I can't remember exactly, but um, yeah. The next thing for me to do is to try and track the moon and get a good photo of it. Good video, good photo. So hopefully you'll see more videos coming soon. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.